vent that fly as it's waving back and forth from penetrating your eye. Also, you want to make sure that once you do remove the hook, that you treat it with some type of antibacterial, maybe neosporin, and put a Band-Aid on it, clean it, wash it, because that fly that you are pulling out of your arm usually has slime from fish's mouth or debris from the water on it, and you don't want that in your bloodstream. So make sure you take good care of that. So here's an instance where we did get hooked in the arm. The best way to remove a fly when you've been hooked is make sure you leave about a foot of tippet attached to the fly, okay? You don't want to cut off the tippet at the fly and yank the fly back out, especially if there's a barb, because you're simply going to tear your skin and it's going to hurt even more. So in this case, this hook is buried, and I'm going to take the tippet material, and I'm going to wrap it around the bend of the hook. That's why I left at least a foot of it still attached to the fly. And then I'm going to bring that material of monofilament underneath the bend of the hook, right against my skin. As I pull this monofilament away from the fly, I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm going to push on the eye of the fly. Those two motions at once usually pop the fly right out. Let's see if we can do that. There's the pulling of the monofilament and there's the push and there it's out. That's the easiest way to remove a fly from your skin, but remember, smash that barb and usually it'll come right out on its own. Camera's rolling. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take off my glasses for this one.